going to revisit some Ozzy Osbourne Black Sabbath with Iron Man, a really good power chord study. <laughs> Also very nice slides so what I want us to get out of this song other than learning a really cool riff this has got a nice middle section which goes <laughs> you don't have to do the pinch harmonics but you'll get there later I just wanted to get that in quickly but what I want us to get from this video is to learn power chords how they work get to know the importance of the names of your root notes or your bass notes for the chord specifically the A string for this particular study and uh, yeah I learned some pretty good stuff from the 70s I'm going to focus now on to what my fretting hand is doing to get the basic power chord shapes underway what you're looking at now is the B5 power chord 5 simply means power chord so if you're looking at your Iron Man PDF it'll say B5 and you'll see a 244 uh, on the tab there that's exactly what I'm playing over here okay this is the traditional way of playing it. Lots of guitarists like the first finger on the fifth string for the B power, power chord. And then fingers three and four are going to go into the middle two strings, fret four. It should sound like this. That's a B5 power chord. Middle finger doesn't do anything. It can hang around. Um, you can keep it close, far apart. I'm not really worried about its position. Now, some guitarists don't like using the ring and the pinky. So they use the first and the ring but the place the ring finger flat you can see my fingers flat there and some guitarists like myself even prefer the pinky now just because i prefer it doesn't mean it's the best way it's just my personal favorite so you've got three ways pinky flat ring finger flat or you can use fingers one three and four as well if you want to you've got those choices now on the tab you're first going to play it and you're going to slide from fret 2 up to fret number 5. Now if you look over here, I'm going to show you that I'm not strumming and I'll simply slide up. So it's a very quick, accurate slide. After the D5 which you're at now, you strum it one more time and slide it up to more frets. And then strum it again. So if you zoom out, we should be able to see now this the hand when it's strumming and when it's sliding and hopefully you can put the two a lot better together. So it's strum, slide E, slide E, and then strum E again. So if you play through with me, two, three, four, and that's the original part. One more time a little bit quicker, two, three, four. Next up is a very, very fast chord change. You'll see my first finger is at fret 10. This is my 10th fret. And this is the G5 power chord on the PDF. Now what's going to happen, I'm going to strum it once. Slide for five beats. So you're going to get one, two, three, four, five. And you start and end on the same chord. So it's Okay, and if you put the whole thing together, including that riff, we're going to have this. One, two, three, four, and... After you've done that, you come back to fret number five. This is the D, you strum it once, and then strum it a second time, and on the second time, you slide it up to fret number seven, which is your E5. And you strum it one more time. And that's the basic riff. So if I take you the whole way through, if you want to play through with me, two and three and four and. Now, if you're losing a bit of sound like this, means you're not pushing hard enough the secret to get the slides working well is by pushing really really hard with your fretting hand so make sure putting a lot of pressure especially during the slide so while i'm going, really hard really hard pressure from the fret 2 to the 5 and all the slides and that basically is iron man's introduction 
There's a middle section of the bridge, which is just going to be B, D, and A. It's going to sound like this. <laughs> I'm not even going to go into the rhythm for that. If you want the rhythm, listen to the song. It's worth all listening to. And if you really get stuck with the rhythm, I will help you. Drop me a WhatsApp. But I am going to do the next part where he sings, Nobody Wants Him. Do they just, oh, sorry, they just turn their head. And that's going to sound like this. That's one of my favorite parts of the song. Now, before I do that, I just want to quickly point out the importance of knowing your names of your notes. So if you know that this note here, fret number two on the fifth string is B, I know where to play the B power chord. If I wanted a C power chord, fret number three. So fret number five is a D, E is number seven, F is eight, F sharp that we're using here is nine, Bottom line is, on the note, you will see I've included the names of the notes on that specific string. Learn them, it's going to help you, especially in the band room and your other guitarist, for example, calls out, oh, play G, B, A, whatever the power chords are going to be, and you know that G is over here, B is over here, A is over here. It means you get to know your notes, very, very important. But back to you, Iron Man. Okay, now we're looking at this part. And um, I'm going to zoom in a bit closer we can see the riff a bit up front. We're starting with a B5 power chord. Remember again, you may play it like this with fingers 1, 3 and 4. Or 1 and 3, or 1 and 4 being pinky. Pinky's my option. So these two are just hanging around. So you've got riff 1, that's going to be double 2, two or 2, 4, 4 played twice. So it's... And then it's single notes going... Sorry, 252, two, my bad. Over there, then it's two, five, And then it's 254 again. The fours on the third string. So one more time, double two. Next phrase. Which is two, five, two. Next phrase. Which is two, five, four. And then. the monics as well but that's optional i'm not going to explain how to play pinch the monics too much but i'll give you a quick tip on it just to get you going if you're having any difficulties here we go so pinch the monic techniques okay we're getting quite close to the guitar you'll notice the tip of my pick has got about say three millimeter maybe three and a half but that's bad this won't work so you tuck your pick in quite deep only about three four millimeters sticking out your thumb is resting on the strings. You can see my strings are moving. I'm going to do this pinch harmonic, which is on fret four of the third string. And the trick over here is when I do the pick, as my pick leaves the string, that little high pitched squeak is the sound of the string hitting against the side of my thumb. And then my thumb must come off very quick. Not a big move, so this is bad. I just got lucky with that one. Keep your pinch the mic very close and it sounds good. So the riff again. One more. Now pinch the mic. If you want to try the pinch the mic. Otherwise, hope you enjoyed Iron Man. And again, like I said, the bridge part with the BDA. Know your power chords. Listen to the rhythm. If you get stuck, let me know. Otherwise, hope you have an awesome week. Take care.